Hi and welcome to the NERPG 0.11 Alpha New Features Overview. In this video we will cover the major new features of NERPG 0.11 Alpha, including new usability features that make it easier than ever to create your game, as well as the new performance enhancements that result in much higher frame rates, the new content demo game that makes it easier than ever to find all the content included in the Unity package, and the new features demo game that makes it easier than ever to learn what features are included in the engine and how to implement them in your project. If you don't already have a copy of NERPG, you can pick one up from nerpg.org downloads in both GitHub source code format as well as Unity package format. The NERPG 0.11a release is compatible with Unity 2020.3.17f1 and you'll find a link to that on the downloads page and I will have a link to the downloads page in the video description as well as video timestamps of each of the new features that I will be covering in case you want to jump to a specific feature. Let's get started with the usability features. When you load a new project, you should see a welcome window. And you can also find that welcome window on the tools menu under any RPG welcome window. You can choose to display the window at startup or just access it manually. On the first page of the welcome window are descriptions of and links to the included five demo games. Just click on any of the buttons and the game will be automatically loaded in the Unity editor and all you'll have to do is click play. So we have a story demo game, a character demo game, a content demo game, a features demo game, and the zero config mode test game. And I will cover each of these in a little later in the video. Next up on the second page of the welcome window, we have a create your game option. And if you click on create a new game now, this will open the new game wizard. And I will demonstrate how the new game wizard works a little later on in the video. On the third tab of the welcome window, you can find support resources, which will bring you to any RPG online resources that you can use to get help or just find out more information about the engine and clicking on any of these links will just pull up the appropriate web page in your browser so you can easily find the wiki, the NERPG YouTube channel, although if you're watching this video I assume that you already know how to get there. You can click to open Discord and get live support or chat to people as well through Discord. You can find the source code on GitHub, as well as look at the new project roadmap that is now available on Trello. And you can add new feature requests by looking at the feature requests board, file bugs, which you can also do through GitHub, as well as look at the client design board, which is basically the work in progress, and see what is currently being tested in code review to do or on the backlog. Let's take a quick look at how the new game wizard works. We'll go back to the create your game and create a new game now, which will bring up the new game wizard. Once you've typed in a name for your game, call this one test game two, then just hit the create button and watch while the wizard does its work. And when it's complete, in a few seconds, you'll find a message telling you where the new loading scene for your game is. The game is ready to play automatically. 
the wizard has created a new folder under the games folder and you can see your new test game 2 folder as well as the scenes that it created for you and some prefabs like the game manager and the UMA glib that is required for UMA to function. You can just click play right away. The game is ready to play. And if we just click on new game here, we can go ahead and start it. And you can start running around immediately. And this is just an empty level at this point, but it's a starting point to get you started. And it's just quick and easy now to go ahead and create your own game. You don't have to worry about trying to copy all the content out of the included demo games like you needed to in previous versions. Returning to the welcome window, let's go ahead and look at some of the included content. So first we have the zero config mode game and this basically just demonstrates how you can pull a game manager right into a scene without any additional configuration just leaving everything blank and go ahead and press play and use the game manager in basically controller only mode with essentially no customizations, no bags, no equipment, spells, or anything like that. And this is great if you've just downloaded a level off of the Unity Asset Store and you just want to test it out and see what the level looks like with your character running around inside it. Next up, going back to the welcome window, we have a features demo game. So let's just take a look at that real quick. The features demo game is a simple game that has essentially the most basic features available lined up directly in front of you and sort of around the level and you can see how to use each of the different interactable options such as the skill trainer or an appearance change option to change the appearance of your character dialogues, name changes, music, vendors, all sorts of different class and faction changes, as well as some simple examples of quests and a cutscene. There's also an arena where you can spawn enemies if you want to fight them and test out that sort of functionality. And everything in here is set up to be basically as simple as it can possibly be. So if you need reference examples to refer to, they are all available in the features demo game. Next up, let's take a look at one of the new features, and this is the content demo game. The content demo game is just a simple one level game where you can look around and easily discover all of the new content available in the new NERPG version. So once that one loads here, we can just hit play, new game, and we can basically choose any of the characters that are included in the engine. So you can see all of the different characters and we'll actually be able to see these inside of the game once we start playing as well. So let's go ahead and just start with any character here. So looking around, we can see all of the different types of UMA armor that are included in the engine. As well as the new female UMA gear and the new male UMA gear that is so far unique to any RPG. There are several sets, five or six for both males and females. We've got some leather armor, sort of like a surfer caveman dude clothing here. Uh, some peasant gear, some torn gear for what I'm using for a zombie as well as, uh, you know, just a sort of poor looking peasant. And then some fancy and simple dresses for females. So any RPG now finally includes female armor so your female characters don't have to be naked. You can also see all the different variations that are included of the default UMA gear. 
further looking around the level, if we take a look back here, we can see everything that's included in the nature kit, everything that's included in the mine kit. Further back in the level, you can see all the pieces that are included in the included labyrinth kits and cathedral kits, as well as all of the different character models that are available in the game, all the different sort of boxman variants and some of the different animals and monsters and knights and this lovely rat right here and some more animals. You can also find all of the different textures organized by resolution. So we've got some sort of like Minecrafty looking 128 textures as well as some 512, 1024 and 2K textures. You can see what each of these are going to look like if you want to look around at those. We've also got on display basically every weapon and every tool included in the engine, as well as all the buildings, furniture, containers, food, books, props. <laughs> and then further in the background there you can see a bunch of uh, structures, stone and metal, bridges and docks, fountains, fences, tents, and then building extensions like the different types of stores, stairs, sorry, doors, windows, chimneys, and exteriors that are available. Most of these buildings are explorable. You can walk around inside them and see different variants like the brick and plaster variants of the houses. And also the main cathedral. So this is the content demo game, and it's just a, a really good way, a quick way to find all of the content that's included in the engine. You don't have to look around the folders in the game anymore. You can just come in here and browse everything that you could possibly want to. Next up, let's take a look at some of the performance enhancements in the new version. And the performance enhancements are pretty dramatic in this version there have been an object pooling system upgrade as well as improved UMA update logic that should remove the need for multiple build calls to render a character. There's also the reduction of unnecessary canvases and complete disabling of all inactive UI elements to reduce the amount of time spent rendering. And finally, the elimination of pretty much every real-time camera except for the main camera in both the unit frames and the minimap. Let's take a look at what kind of effects these have on the performance. So what I've done is I've loaded up a 0.10 alpha release and I'm just gonna hit the stats window here. And you can see that I'm just standing inside of the Sun Temple right now and we're getting about 15 to 20 frames per second. If we start spinning around, we might even drop as low as 9 or 10 frames per second. Now, let's look at the exact same zone in the new NERPG 0.11 release and see how much better the frame rates are. So I'll find a... Oh, you know what? I'm actually in the wrong game there. What we want to do is we want to go to the Lost Soul Story Demo game, which you can find from the welcome window also. And we will find a character that's hanging out in the Sun Temple there. and moving up to pretty much the exact same spot that I was at before and clicking the stats window, you can see that now instead of getting between 9 to 30 frames per second, I'm getting you know somewhere more in the range of uh, about 50 to 90 frames per second. And the movement now looks a lot smoother. There's a new option where the run speed is just going to match the animation and we've got better options for footsteps so it doesn't sort of sound like a spider walking around or a chipmunk tapping the ground really fast with his feet. 
Let's take a look at another level in the 0 0.10 alpha and just to see the difference in the frame rates. I'm going to jump into a mine level which is a little bit more uh, sort of restricted because it's a cave level so we don't have things way far off in the background. Now once again this is the old 0 0.10 release and you can see that the frame rates aren't nearly as terrible here. We're getting you know about an average of about 65 frames per second in this level but we can do much better than 65 frames per second. Let's go ahead and load up the exact same level in the new 0 0.11 alpha release and see how much better the frame rates are. So I will find a character who's hanging out in the exact same zone here, the crystal mine. And now you can see that our frame rates aren't 40 or 50 frames a second. We're getting 170, 190 frames per second in this level. So definitely a huge improvement there by more than 100 frames per second. Finally, let's just compare how an outdoor zone performs in the old 0 0.10 alpha release and contrast that with how it's going to be performing in the new 0 0.11 alpha release. So here's the outdoor zone Birch Grove. You can see my frame rates are between you know sort of 12 frames per second to 20 frames per second. They're uh, not fantastic at all. They're definitely pretty low there. And then let's load up the new NERPG 0.11 release and then take a look at that exact same level and see how much better these frame rates will be. So I'll find a character that's in Birch Grove and I will load him up and now you can see that instead of getting what was it? I think 12 to 20 frames per second. We're seeing an average of more like about 60 to 70 frames per second. And this would be even better if these trees were using LOD or, yeah, basically LOD. Unfortunately, they're not. But even without the LOD, we're still managing, you know, 70 to uh, 80, 90, almost 100 frames per second in the outdoor zone here a vast improvement over the old 0 0.10 alpha release. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you did and you're looking forward to trying out all of these improvements, go ahead and head over to nerpg.org slash downloads. And don't forget to subscribe to the NERPG YouTube video and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.